What's up guys and welcome back to Microwave Madness. Today what we're going to be microwaving is this little beauty behind me. So this, my friends, is a portable... And what this, my friends, is, is a portable DVD player. This one does work. I know I've put a lot of things in there that don't work, but this does work. It's just not wanted anymore. So we're going to put this in. It's got a little, obviously... A DVD player drive thing with lasers and spinny thing. Some buttons here so you can decide. Pause, play, stop, rewind and stuff like that. So I'm going to stick that in. I'm going to turn it on so you can see the screen if it does all funny or funky or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put it in for the standard five minutes. Like I like to put a lot of stuff in for five minutes. I don't think it's going to last five minutes because it's probably just going to set on fire. I don't want to leave it burning for too long because I don't want to break my uh, microwave and I don't want to burn my shed down. And I'll put this in facing the screen, the screen facing the camera, so you can see what's happening to it. So that can go in there, like that. I've set that to five minutes, it won't come on until I go outside and turn it on at the switch. But before we get going, I just want to say, don't try this at home. I've got my fireproof gloves, so I can touch it while it's on fire, or put it out with my hand. And if that doesn't work, I've got my fire extinguisher, which is both going to be outside with me, so that I can come in and I can turn it off. Turn it off so that I can come in and I can put the fire out, not turn the fire off. I will go outside and I shall turn it on and I will see you in approximately five minutes, maybe less, depending on how violent the flames get. So, see you in five. So, in three, two, one. Right guys, so as you can see, that took a while to set on fire, but when it did set on fire, it didn't want to go out, which is why I had to run out and let it outside and pat it, stamp on it or whatever. It won't come off plate, I tried putting it out in the microwave, but it won't come off, so I tried to pick it up and all the 
plate came off with it and everything else. There were a lot of popping going off when it were in. I don't know what were popping, it's still really warm. I don't really know what were popping, but I think on the motherboard there's like little, I don't know what they call them, like little black things, little tower type things, um, fuse type, I don't know what they are. But that's the only thing I can think of that could have been popping inside there. I'm going to try and get it off this plate. I'll try and open it up, see what's gone off. Oof, it's really warm. Ah. Jesus. That stinks. <coughs> yeah, it's really warm still. It's been outside for five, ten minutes. And it's still really, really hot and it's like soft. But I can't open the. Ugh. Jesus. Oh. That's as much as it's going to open. So, yeah, I think you'll be able to watch a nice DVD on that. It's really soft. It's like, it's like rubber. The screen, not a lot. Obviously it's not working the screen, but usually it goes like a, a bubbly type thing. But I'm not sure if that's glass this one or plastic. It smells really bad. Let's try and open up this bit, see what we can see if we can find what we're popping. There's a lot of stuff in there that could have been popping. There's a battery. I should imagine that did a bit of the popping. But I can't really oh there's a few Yeah, there's if you see those curly things, I'm not sure if you can see them. But they, they are usually inside the black fuse type things. But I think that's what's popped and that's why there were so many little pops going off on inside. The buttons, I thought the buttons were metal but they must have been plastic because they've melted too. The CD tray is no longer. The little wheel thing, that's probably the only thing that's not been burnt. There's a little bit of metal in there too. What's that? That's the laser and the rod for the laser. We'll put that there. But the bottom. Obviously it's just melted, buttons have all melted inside to it, but yeah, that's the DVD player. I might go in and watch a DVD on this now. So that's it for the DVD player guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below and make sure you comment on what you want to see me play in this microwave next and we'll get it in. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos because we do a lot of stuff like that. And make sure you go watch the previous videos as well. So yeah, subscribe guys and I will see you in the next video. See you later.